Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me here today. As always, it's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, aka the Planning Diva. And today I thought it would be fun to do a little bit more of a chatty video. Um, I want to share with you all of the sticker books that I have finished completely and just chat a little bit about them and talk about whether I would repurchase them or not and my just my general thoughts for each of the sticker books I finished. So I have them all written down in my super cute Hello Kitty moleskin and <laughs> I just realized that I still have lip swatches from my project panning video. Ah, let me take those off. Lord, help me. This is what happens when you go from a makeup video to a planning video. All right, we're good. So I started planning probably in November 2019. And since then I've bought a ton of sticker books and I've also used quite a bit of sticker books and I have finished completely every single sticker 13 entire happy planner sticker books with three three honorable mentions which those three honorable mentions I've probably finished about 90% of the sticker book so let's go through them and I'll let you know what I felt about each one and whether I ended up repurchasing or not. And I don't have the actual sticker book with me because I tend to toss sticker pages as I finish them. So I'll rip them out once I'm done with the sticker page and I'll toss it. And I don't hold on to empty sticker pages or empty sticker books so I don't have them with me but I will pop up a photo on the screen of that sticker book just to like you know show you what it looked like so let's start off with um the horizontal sticker book and these are in no particular order these are just how I how they came to mind so the first sticker book on my list of sticker books I finished is the horizontal sticker book so this was a really fun sticker book and I actually repurchased the sticker book already and I haven't even touched it because I loved it a lot but I was also kind of ready to move on to other stickers <laughs> when I had finished it and so I knew that I wanted to buy it and I found it on clearance for five dollars at Michael's so I picked it up again I did repurchase it but I haven't touched it since I no I did pull a few stickers from it but for the most part, like 99% of that sticker book is still intact because I'm just kind of letting myself breathe a little bit from the horizontal sticker book. This one was really interesting. It's the only one I think that Happy Planner has come out with that is made for the horizontal planner. I love horizontal planners and you can definitely use these stickers in all other planner types from the Happy Planner or just like in regular notebooks and journals or what have you. But what I really liked about this sticker book were the really fun designs. It kind of gave me like color story vibes because there were definitely at least two different styles of design in that sticker book. There was this really bright and bold and fun and whimsical type of design. And then there was a little bit more of a softer palette it also kind of had a lot of like illustrations in it. It kind of reminded me of the Happy Illustrations sticker book from the Happy Planner. A lot of fun, um, had a lot of great boxes, a lot of great art. I really enjoyed the sticker book. Obviously I bought it again, so that one was a lot of fun. The second book I finished was I think the OG floral sticker book from the Happy Planner. This might have been the first sticker book they put out that was purely florals. It didn't have boxes or any other type of functional sticker in it. It was pure florals in it and I loved it so much. Florals are just really easy for me to get through. I love florals and I definitely got through this one pretty quickly, especially since some of the florals were pretty big. And so yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. I loved it and I haven't seen it around 
So I didn't repurchase it. I, I never saw it in stores again after like, you know, it's season. But even if I did see it in stores, I don't think I would repurchase it even though I really did enjoy it. It's just that Happy Planner since then has come out with so many other floral sticker books that are just pure florals as well as like florals and functional. Like we have at least two mega sticker books that are completely florals and I have both of those two mega sticker books. So I don't see myself really needing this OG floral sticker book, especially since I already like used every single one of them. I kind of enjoyed it, it had its moment, I'm ready to move on. A third sticker book I finished was the OG Fitness sticker book. This is one of the first sticker books I ever purchased from the Happy Planner because my first ever Happy Planner was a fitness planner. And I used every single sticker in this, loved it so much. I, this is my favorite fitness sticker book that the Happy Planner has come out. I don't really see it often in stores anymore. I've only ever seen it in one Michaels in my area and I picked up two backup copies of that sticker book. So, I mean, not really backup, one's backup and one I'm actually using right now because I loved it so much. It's the best fitness sticker book that Happy Planner has put out. Love it so much. And I have, I'm using one sticker book right now and I have a backup copy of it for when I'm finished with that sticker book. So by the end of, you know, 2023, I might have actually used up three different, three like different fitness sticker books. <laughs> Love it. Okay, number four, Disney Mickey Mouse color block. So this was the first Mickey Mouse um, sticker book that Happy Planner came out with that was not the classic Disney colors. And so they switched it up. There's a lot of like, I would say like bright pastel colors in that sticker book. Not necessarily bright colors, but not necessarily just pastels either. It was kind of like that bright pastel in between. And I adored this sticker book, used every single sticker in it loved it so much and yeah i really liked this one i wish they had uh like come out with more types of sticker books for this one they only came out with that one and i actually also have the wellness journal and a dashboard planner from the same color block line so i really enjoyed the color block this was the first Disney sticker book that I finished. And yeah, I just have not seen the color block in stores or online ever since. Like kind of like that floral sticker book, it's just not out. Yeah, I wonder if it sold out or something. But you know, you would think that if it was really popular that it sold out, that they would like continue to restock it to sell it. But maybe, I don't know, maybe it like, Maybe people did continue to slowly buy it until they sold all the stock, but because it was like such a hard sell, maybe they didn't want to restock it. I don't know. Book number five is Wild Styled. This was a sticker book that I absolutely adored. Love me some leopard print. Love me that like boss babe aesthetic. And uh, just adored it. I loved it so much. I got through an entire Wild Styled sticker book and I purchased it again. <laughs> it was that good. It took me a while to purchase it though. I didn't repurchase it like right after. It was like a year, like a year after that I finally repurchased it at Hobby Lobby. I've noticed that Hobby Lobby carries a lot more of the older like stock, like older Happy Planner stock. Like I did not see Wild Styled in a Michaels or a Joann's for the longest after like it was in its peak season, but I did find it in Hobby Lobby along with several other of their older sticker books. So yeah, if you're trying to get an older sticker book, try Hobby Lobby. Sticker book number six that I finished, Pressed Florals. <sighs> One of my all time favorite sticker book collections, my favorite, one of my favorite collections that Happy Planner has ever released, the Pressed Florals line. I have the sticker book, the accessory um, book, I have the Big Happy Planner, I have the 
um, oh, classic horizontal planner, I have the accessory pack, I have the dashboards, I, <laughs> I have almost everything from that line because it's so perfect, beautiful. I had to get the Be Happy box um, from their like Wildflower Be Happy box that was really similar to the Press Florals when it came out. Well, my boyfriend bought it for me, but I had to have it. It was so beautiful and I actually just repurchased the press floral sticker book because it was it was like a hole in my heart that i did not have it so i finished the entire sticker book and then i waited a bit like i waited a couple of months and then i bought it again <laughs> okay number seven that i finished colorful boxes this was one of the first sticker books i picked up from the happy planner and it's just a bunch of boxes and i finished it well honestly i have to mention that I probably should say, I should probably move this one to an honorable mention because there are a few stickers left from this sticker book, but it's just like a handful and I put them into my sticker storage and they're just a little, they're just like tiny little like um, hexagon stickers. So I, okay, that was a lie. That one I'm like 99% done with, but close enough, right? So I definitely have used every single one of the boxes though. Really functional. It was really, really easy to get to that one. I have not repurchased it and I probably would not repurchase the sticker book because there are so many better sticker books out there than this one. Even when I bought it and, you know, was using it, I knew that it wasn't my favorite because they have like a lot of blue boxes in there. And you all know that I don't use blue very much and they had silver, a lot of silver boxes, which those are okay, but they're not my favorite. And just the color choices in that in that sticker book are not the best and there are so many better like boxes sticker books out there now like i think it was great for its time but there's been so much more like in terms of there's just so much more out there at this point in life and so i have the happy planners like mega rainbow box sticker book which is so much better i have mojo jojo's like entire rainbow bundle box of boxes so i think i'm set for at least four years <laughs> maybe five maybe more than that honestly so i yeah mm, would not repurchase the colorful boxes again even if it was on clearance i doubt i would pick it up Number eight that I finished, Stargazer, OG Stargazer. So this is one that I was really excited to pick up when it first came out and I used it. Um, yeah, I used it all up. It definitely was um, not my favorite when after I got like a lot of use out of it, like flipping through it and looking at it, it was beautiful. But when I actually started using it in my planner, I felt like it was a little lacking. I think it's because, I think this is the one that had a lot of like weird shapes. Like there was a lot of weird shapes. I wish you just had a lot more like just straight up boxes. And um, I feel like this one had like too many funky shapes going on in it, if I remember correctly. Um, I would not repurchase this particular one again, but I have repurchased like the newer version of Stargazer and I do really like that one. I like it better than the old Stargazer for sure. But even this one, I feel like it's not quite like hitting it out of the park for me. Like I really enjoy it, but it's not like perfection yet. I, I don't know. I don't know why. Like there's something about it. I can't really put my finger on it, but it's definitely like, I wish that they had, I don't know, it's missing something. Number nine that I finished, the Wrong Wrong Seasonal Sticker Book. So this is one of my all-time favorite sticker books. So much fun and I got through it quite quickly. I just love Ron Grong's illustrations, her designs, and because it's seasonal, it's so easy to just like sneak in, you know, at any at any time at any spread because you could always throw some like nice season seasonal like flavor into any spread. So I finished that one up. Particularly liked the um the like the Halloween page from the Ron Grong seasonal. Really really cute. Oh, and I did not repurchase that Rong Rong Seasonal because I have not seen it 
anywhere. I think it might still be on the Happy Planner website, but I have just have not gone and like picked it up and maybe if I saw it on store, in store, I would buy it again if it was on clearance. I actually just placed a big order on the Happy Planner website for Memorial Day and I, bit, I did pick up some Rong Rong sticker books, but I'm not sure if, if I picked up that seasonal or if it was on the website. I have to double check. Yeah, I don't know if I would buy it again. I'm kind of on the fence with it. I really liked it when I had it. And if I saw it in store, I might pick it up if it was on clearance, if it was like $5 or less. But mm, I don't know if I would... Yeah, I don't know if I would buy it if it was not on clearance. Even if it was on clearance though. Yeah, I don't know. I really liked it, but for some reason I'm not like as drawn to like wanting to repurchase it again. So number 10 is Farmhouse. I finished up a Farmhouse sticker book. Loved Farmhouse. Although um, I kind of like modern Farmhouse a little bit better than regular Farmhouse. And I did actually go ahead and pick up another farmhouse because I loved it that much. I just love that whole farmhouse aesthetic. I want to live on a farm, like that's my ideal. So I really like the farmhouse um, sticker book and there's so much there that's like perfect for household and like meal planning and meal prepping as well as just like beautiful like deco and it's just a really nice sticker book. So I like that one a lot. I have repurchased that one. And then the 11th sticker book I finished is the Pastel Rainbow sticker book. This was one of my all-time favorite sticker books and I had so much fun using the sticker book. My aesthetic is Pastel Rainbow so it's perfect for me and I don't know if I would repurchase it. I feel like I would wait to see if they would um if they would come out with like a, a like a revamped version of Pastel Rainbow before I would pick up that OG one again. Um, I kind of, you know, I really enjoyed it, highly recommend it, but I think I'll wait a little bit um, on that one to pick it up again. And then number 12, the last sticker book I finished was the OG Fall sticker book. Love their seasonal sticker books and I had to go through two fall seasons to finish the sticker book. So I finished like a good chunk of it, like one fall, and then last fall I like went through and I basically finished it up completely. So I finished that fall sticker book. So those are the 12 sticker books I've finished completely with that one exception of uh, the colorful boxes. But now I have three honorable mentions. So these are sticker books that I would say I'm like at least 90% done with. The first is Colorful Leopard. So close to finishing that one completely, but there's just a few more stickers left in that one and then I'll be done with it. But I love Colorful Leopard. It's so gorgeous. Again, it's like wild styled that like cheetah print, um, leopard print, um, big cat, you know, boss bitch aesthetic that I really enjoy. So, and that one's just has great like functional boxes and all types of beautiful deco stickers. So I actually already repurchased this one because I wanted, um, I wanted that sticker book again. And I only had like a few stickers left in it. And honestly, those were like the appointment stickers. And so I didn't really like, I didn't feel like I had it. I felt like I finished it and I wanted it again. So I already repurchased it. The second, Honorable mention is the wellness sticker book. This is the OG wellness sticker book. This is one of the first sticker books I purchased and I've used up so much of this, but there's just a few more stickers left in it. And I would not repurchase this one again because I feel like there's better wellness sticker books out there. I really did like it when I had it, but the color story of certain pages wasn't my favorite. They used this really like muted blue a lot, which y'all know how I feel about blue. And so I felt like it wasn't like my absolute favorite, but I did really enjoy a lot of the stickers from there. Like the clear, um, like yoga stickers, love those. I wish I had like just a book full of those. Last honorable mention is the bookish sticker book. And this one's kind of like a cheat, I would say, because I 
tore out a bunch of the pages when I first got that sticker book and I mailed them to a friend because she's really into reading and I felt like it'd be fun to share some of that sticker book with her. And so I tore out a, like, you know, a good number of pages from there, maybe like 10 or so. And then what was left is what I almost finished. And I still have like just a page or two of stickers left from that sticker book, but, um, the rest of it is done. <laughs> I love this sticker book. It was so fun and bright, but um, I did repurchase it because I liked it so much. But I honestly repurchased it because Happy Planner doesn't have any other like bookish type sticker books in their lineup. So that was kind of like the only bookish themed sticker book. And so and I wanted like a bookish themed sticker book for my reading journal. And so that's why I picked it up again. But I feel like if they had come out with their modern bookish sticker book um, before I repurchased it, I would have picked up the modern bookish sticker book over the OG bookish because, well, I do really like those bright colors. I think they're really fun. I think the sticker book was really cute. I liked it enough to repurchase it. I think it's easier to like I, I like the modern bookish more and I think it's just easier to work with and like combine other stickers with because it's more neutral that OG bookish is so bright and its color story is so unique and really like whimsical it's, it's kind of hard to like find things that really like jibe well with that sticker book. All right, so that's all the sticker books I finished in my sticker history. I finished 13 sticker books entirely and I have three honorable mentions that I'm like 90% done with. So I'm pretty proud of myself, you know, 13 sticker books is not too shabby, but I definitely like to splash them all over everything. And I also use them a lot for like creative journaling and art projects as well and junk journaling, that kind of thing. So let me know what sticker books you finished in the comments down below and if you finished any of the ones that I finished and if so, did you repurchase them? I would like to know. And with that, um, I'll let you get on with your day. Thank you so much for tuning in and stay safe, stay blessed and happy planning. Bye.